and with everything. And the champions loaded in now. Make sure you head over to Twitter and vote with your predictions at LOL Esports with the hashtag TSM win or the hashtag AHQ win. We'll add up the results and see what you think throughout the game. Toby, I know you had something to say at the end of Champion Select. Right, I want to tag in on that uh, Hecarim point. The Hecarim was picked so early. There's a lot of point and click on HQ with the Urgot, with the Maokai, where if the flank from Dyrus does come in with the home guard, uh, you just, one of those abilities, just tag him very quickly. It's very disoriented. Okay. More effective on less gold. Hecarim really does want to work towards the 24th as quickly as possible. Get his home guard upgrades as quickly as, po quickly as possible. And they're making it hard for Darius. Once again, he has the lane shoved, has to get chased out. He won't even get experience. Goes back to wards, but he uh -oh. is sonared out here. He's going to get popped up. Dyrus does not have flash. He is oh, going to go down God. for first blood. And they have been down there quite a bit, guys. It finally pays off. Peace out. Yeah. So I was on the verge <laughs> of criticizing the ward and saying that almost everybody now wards over that tri bush onto the other side to see people waiting, but well, doesn't got Dyrus. in trouble. Forced to use the flash to try and escape. Marshall Poise is helping oh. him out here. Uses the rend. There's a flash from Mountain. No, he'll be out to pick up that kill. If he falls behind, he's one of the big damage factors. They're going to need the flay to dredge line. Actually gives the upper hand there to Albus, and he may be able to turn around and find a target. Bjergsen's right in the middle of four members of AHQ. A nice ultimate from Santorin gives them some time to think about it, but he still goes down. Tyrus is right in the middle. Everything's used in defense here. His AHQ is still going for the fight. Yeah, defensive ultimate used by Tyrus there as well as very early uh, to pressure these turrets. And if they do, they'll get chased off. Oh, there's the death, death charge. charge coming through from Albus. He's looking to try and get something happening here. Nice, Lenton. It's going to help the team get up. But Ziv with the flanking play. Bjergsen oh. gets twisted advanced. Beautiful dredge line to come through as well as Albus tries to stun him up. Bjergsen's still alive, though. Nice rupture on the carries here at the same time as Ant gets death sentence. Taking a fish. Beautiful fates call. Carol oh. of Cyrus. Re-flanking from the backside. Wild Turtle takes down Ziv's mountain. Trying to get amongst the Wild Turtle. caught up. It's another beautiful kill, but triple for Anne. And the Urgot is making plays. TSM bottled up in their side of the map, which they're doing very well, and continue to take the dragons. Uh, Westor here, going to go one versus one with Bjergsen, and one of them's got backup. Yeah, Albus and Mountain both make their way in, and Bjergsen was not going anywhere. Darius, meanwhile, in the bottom lane again, having a lot He's of a trouble boom. here against Ziv, who may actually flash this on. Beautiful Arcane Smash. Oh! oh and Ziv all the way oh, down, sick. and another one. Oh. Ziv thinks he's got him cornered, but Darius again on another journey around the map. We'll see whether he's going to be able to make it out this time, of course. <laughs> Just heads through the turret. Is the sapling going to be enough? It won't. Oh, the oh, okay man. smash oh, after man. the flash. Some of the it's coolest the interactions this week. <laughs> Let's look for hope for TSM. They have. Well, oh, uh, that's that is not a good start. That was a beautiful scrying off. There's a teleport for HQ as well as the fish comes through. Bjergsen. Oh, the three-man knockup coming down from. The Rex at the same time as Matt TSM are melting on this one. Wild Total fall down, falls down first. Bjergsen as well. Everyone's picking up kills, and the switch comes in. Dyrus thinks he was getting a flank, but that's just entering. After quite a disheartening day yesterday, they picked their heads back up and tried to hit it with almost the same composition, but AHQ was reading it like a book. Yeah, TSM looking to go aggressive, though, as Westall was in the bottom lane mountain as well towards the top side. Bjergsen, though, they're trying to turn around. AHQ with a whole bunch of damage. Lost Boy, oh, the beautiful Fates call once more, but Anne just has so much damage. Bjergsen going to fall down. Dyrus ulting his way out, but HQ might just transition this into either a turret or they'll just go dive heavily for the kills. Lost Boy going to fall down. I think this is necessarily TSM playing poorly, though. I think this is just AHQ's playstyle working fantastically yeah. against the likes of TSM who want to have control, but AHQ just play in chaos. And these types of things keep ticking against you. You're losing the top laner. You're losing just members in oh, general like that. when you want them to be back. 15 to 1 is the score as AHQ enters Team Solo mid's base. And they're taking whatever they want here as well as Mountain. He does get explosive casting into the team, but that's not the member that they want. And though, he 
might be what they're looking for. Osiris tries to get some work done. Oh. Nice swap from Ann gives him so much resistances. Tanks up the turret. Ziv so tanky as well, but getting Death Sentence back. Twisted advance saves his life. Three inhibitors down. Ziv flashes away. And AHQ say, yep, uh, we'll just leave now because we feel like we may have hurt ourselves a little oh. bit. Nice Death Sentence from Lost Boy. The shutdown on Ann. TSM looking to try and get back in on this one, but Ziv picks up the kill onto Kalista. Dyer is going to fall down. Westor. He's twi he's oh. playful trickstering around this fight. Bjerx and able to get the knock up, but another urchin strike gets Westor and he's tanking up the turret, but trickstering around and Santorin, the last man standing that's around this fountain and man. AHQ, they don't care that their carry falls down or their tank. They're still gonna win this game. 19 to 3. This LMS team is showing up for MSI. Absolutely. 3 and 1 now as AHQ take down Team Solo mid. 29 minutes on the clock. What a dominating performance here from AHQ. Smiles to boot as well. They should be very proud of that performance.